In this video, I'm going to show you how to browse Jupyter Notebooks using Docker. So the idea is you don't need to install uh, IPython and the associated dependencies for you to open and to browse uh, Jupyter Notebooks. All you need to install is a Docker virtualization environment. And the way you do it, simply Google Docker install on, for example, Mac OS. And uh, don't feel discriminated if you're using a different operating system. There are also uh, installation instructions for Linux and for Windows. And now assuming that you installed uh, Docker in your computer, open um, Docker terminal. So one thing to note is um, that on Linux you will use the native command line, whereas on Windows and, uh, on, and Mac OS you will have to use the special Docker terminal. Right. So now, for example, you want to view uh, by conductors RNA seq workflow, uh, which is a tutorial um, that shows you how to perform uh, gene level differential expression analysis. Uh, it's also published on F1000 Research as an article, as a peer reviewed article. And um, in order to view uh, this RNA seq workflow as a Jupyter notebook, you will need to download the um, uh, the Docker image from Docker Hub and the way to do it is easy simply open your Docker terminal and run a Docker pull and the repository's name in this case Vladkim RNA seq right um, and after you pull the image uh, you can check whether it's uh, really there by running Docker images and uh, you can convince you can convince convince yourself that Vladkim RNA seq is now on your computer. Uh, now uh, the instructions are given on the home page of the repository, um, and um, there are separate instructions for each major operating system. Um, it's quite easy to run this um, this Docker image. Simply copy this command and paste it in your Docker terminal. Now the notebook app is up and running and uh, this line tells you which link you should follow for you to open the Jupyter directory tree. And I will show you what I mean. Simply copy this link and paste it in your browser. Uh, now we immediately end up in Jupyter directory tree, which has only one file, uh, the RNA-seq workflow in um, IPython notebook format. Um, now simply click on it and uh, now the kernel is loading. Uh, notice that we, uh, right, one second. So notice that we are using um, our kernel and not the usual Python kernel. So we are using R. And um, for those who, for those of you who don't know how to um, use IPython notebook, it's actually quite easy. So these cells are just marked down, and um, you can actually run. Uh, the code cells by either clicking on this icon, run run cell and select below, or you can also um, use the shortcut, which is shift enter. So press shift enter to run individual cells um, and so on, right? Um, and if you if you feel bored and you want to skip some uh, some sections of this workflow, you can simply go directly to the um, to the code block that is of most interest to you, for example, this one, and you can use the, um, this icon from the, uh, from the toolbar, run from top to current cell, uh, in order to uh, execute the cells above the selected one, above the selected cell, right? Um, and, then, and then you can proceed from, uh, and then you can continue from that uh, code lock onwards, right? Um, this is essentially everything that you need to know. Um, have fun exploring the RNA-seq workflow in Jupyter Notebook format. Uh, thank you for listening.